We were having a end of the year uh, connect group picnic at a nearby uh, park. Um, and when we arrived to the pavilion, uh, there was a younger couple, probably in their 20s, that were sitting there that, that were not part of our small group. So we were setting up the food and they were getting ready to leave. It was like no big deal. But um, I just felt a stirring in my heart that I needed to make sure that they had food, like give them a hot dog or um, just make sure that they had somewhere to go. So I went up to him and said, excuse me, excuse me, do you guys like want to eat before you go? Can I give you a hot dog? And they kind of looked at each other and I went further to say like, do you guys have a place to go? Do you like have a home? And they said, no, we've actually been homeless since 2020. Um, so quickly, um, we invited them to come to the picnic. And so after we had eaten um, and fellowshiped, um, we got to know the couple a little bit more. But um, I wanted to make sure that we prayed with them before we go. So I asked about their, spirit, their spiritual journey. And the gentleman, he said that he uh, used to go to church when he was younger with his grandmother, kind of on and, and off, but it's been um, quite some time that he uh, was in a church setting and went to church. Katie, you said that, um, well, do you want to accept, accept in Jesus right now? Like, do you want to say a prayer of salvation? Do you want to say a prayer of salvation? And um, he was like, yeah. I was like, oh, well, Vincent will lead you in a prayer of salvation. <laughs> yeah. So I was trying to think of what Kevin says um, at the end of the, the, the service, kind of um, led him in a prayer about the holiness of God and the repentance of sin. Um, and at the end of uh, the prayer, I asked him, have you ever heard of the Holy Spirit? And he said, no. So I got an opportunity to share with him, like, you know, who the Holy Spirit is, what he does in our lives. And I prayed for him to be, you know, to, to have a uh, encounter with, with the Holy Spirit. And when I was done with the prayer, um, you know, you could see that he was getting emotional. He said like it just a, a weight has been lifted off of his shoulders. The next morning he texted me. And said it's the first morning I haven't woken up angry. And mm -hmm. like his fiance even realized that he wasn't angry either. Uh, so it was really neat. And the other couple we were, at put, were with put them in a hotel. And then other members from our small group get, brought them food because we knew where they were staying. And then, um, yeah, we were able to help them get showered before an interview. and So it's just kind of neat how our Connect group kind of worked together to not just meet their spiritual needs, but meet their physical needs as, as well. Letting go of yourself and not necessarily needing to find the right words, because you know that it's not your words that will touch someone's heart. It's like the Spirit of God that, that will move their heart. Um, so just trusting in, in God that He will not just move through your words, but move through your faith that you bring to a situation.